please welcome to the TEDx Sonoma County stage, Oscar Chavez. Here in Sonoma County, we have this vision to be the healthiest county in California by the year 2020. We envision a place where we can all live and work and achieve our life potential. This is not only an important goal, it is a goal that must require all of us to come together as one community. So as I was thinking about the enormity of that challenge and this idea of more, what is it that we need more of? What, qu what quickly came to mind was the need to have a more responsive community safety net. Now a community safety net is the sum total of all the investments that go into providing assistance, supports, government aid, policies, everything that is in place to help people from falling through the cracks and ultimately from falling into poverty. Well, as both a consumer of the safety net and as an administrator of the safety net, I can tell you that our safety net today is broken. Today, you literally have to fail or hit rock bottom before any meaningful intervention can be provided to you. Now, why is that? That's the question that I keep asking myself. Why is it that when people fail, they have to hit rock bottom? Let me give you an analogy of how the safety net works today or how our sector works today. Imagine that our community is this large pond. And in this pond, there are lots of fish of all different sizes, of all different colors. And as service providers, we sit around the banks and we observe the pond. And when we see a sick fish, we reach in the pond, we get the fish, we put it in a little tank, we nurture it back to health, and then we put the, the fish back in the pond. And then we see another fish that's sick, and we reach in, we grab the fish, we nurture it back to health, and we put it back in the pond. And as we do that, we see another sick fish. And our neighbor across the bank is doing the same thing. And we do this day in and day out. And we never stop to ask ourselves, what is it about the pond that it's causing so many fish to be sick? And rather than trying to fix every sick fish, why don't we start to ask questions about the pond? And that's what I'm asking here today. What is it about our community that is causing so much disparity when it comes to the education of our students, when it comes to the growing income disparity in our community, when it comes to the growing divide between those that have and those that have not. So in order for us to think differently about the safety net, we have to think differently about how we are going to invest in it to make it stronger. In order to make it stronger, I believe that we have to invest earlier. We have to get to the issues early on before they become problems. We know how costly it is to put a young person behind bars. Yet we know how inexpensive it is to provide one child access to early quality education. Yet we fail to make the right investments in our community. We have to be courageous and challenge that system that makes us invest later in life when we're supposed to be investing earlier in life. We have to make sure that we're investing wisely. We know that there are programs that work and there are programs that don't work. In fact, when we work with people, we know that chances are that many of them are not gonna have the kind of success that we want them to have. But we don't stop to change those programs. We need to have more evidence-informed practices permeate throughout our sector so that we can start investing in programs that we know work and that we know will dramatically improve the lives of people. Thirdly, we have to invest wisely. One of the challenges that we have in our sector is that funders shape behavior. Funders, by virtue of how they fund organization, determine how you're going to behave. If they want to fund XYZ, you're going to put together a program that meets XYZ criteria. If they want to fund a program 
that serves 20 people, you're going to deliver a program that serves 20 people. We need to understand that the problems and the challenges that we're dealing with today are complex. Issues like education, poverty, are not going to be solved by one single program or by one single sector. It is going to require the collective investment of all of us. So we can no longer think about addressing education by putting more tutors in the classroom or by providing more after-school activities. We have to understand the importance of place. What is, it, what is it about the neighborhoods in which our young people live in that is creating disparity to, to occur in their communities? So we have to invest together. And finally, we need to have the courage to disrupt those systems that no longer work for people. We invest millions and millions of dollars into our safety net. Yet, in Sonoma County, we still have nearly 50% of Latino students who don't complete high school. We have, in this community of plenty, thousands and thousands of people that go without food on a daily basis. We have many people who are eking by on minimum wage jobs. That's not the Sonoma County that I want to live in, and I know that that's not the Sonoma County that you want to live in. If we are truly serious about our vision of being the healthy, healthiest county in California by 2020, where we can all live, work, and achieve our life potential, we have to be serious about the word all. It can't just be a potential for some of our residents. It truly has to be a situation where we are lifting the boats of everybody in our community. Now, we're not alone in this. There is a lot of, a lot of great things happening in Sonoma County, a lot of great efforts that are aligning our organizations to think differently about how we invest our resources, about how we invest our talent, and about how we can co-create solutions with the very people that are struggling to make ends meet. It pains me greatly that we can drive on the same road in Sonoma County, yet live in two different worlds. It pains me that when I look at a map of Sonoma County, and particularly Santa Rosa, that we are clearly divided along race and class. We can do better as a community. And it starts with having the courage to stand up and say that together we must make a difference for our young people today if we are to have a more prosperous Sonoma County for the future. Thank you.